The character of A.K. Yearling has written up to 31 confirmed Daring Do books across her lively career, all secretly inspired by her real-life experiences under the titular Closeted Identity. However, there is one work in her catalogue which does not feature her alter ego, with the true experience that inspired it apparently being so scary for her that she simply couldn't bear to do so. While there is little information available, said book was interpreted in universe as fictional. Quote, a horror novel seemingly inspired by H.P. Trotcraft, featuring an entity known as the Beast from Beyond. And again, the events of this novel are implied to have genuinely happened to A.K. Yearling, A.K.A. Daring Do. The source of this information, the collectible card game Marks in Time, remains ambiguous in its canonicity. Not only is there little corroborating material from the show, the ponified Lovecraft's name is contradicted by other sources, such as the Dark Magic Library, which names him Lovecult rather than H.P. Trotcraft. Regardless, the fact that this appears in a piece of officially released media does make it worthy of some further investigation. In the world of Lovecraftian fiction, especially within the famous Hulu mythos, the universe is far less stable and familiar than it seems. Ancient and powerful civilizations from across history worship strange and alien creatures beyond human understanding. Cursed relics and anomalous ruins hide dangerous secrets and offer pathways for otherworldly organisms to exploit. Given A.K. Yearling's history with ancient artifacts and unexplored ruins, an accidental run-in with something beyond her understanding may have been inevitable. While there are a few likely scenarios based on Lovecraft's stories, in the end, we may never know what really happened, least of all what the Beast from Beyond really was. The one thing we can say is that our daring do was lucky to survive. Of course, such ambiguity leaves a lot of room for possibility. Seeing as we never actually get confirmation on what the beast looks like, the Equestria Exploration Channel is running an art contest from now until the 29th of October. This was partially inspired by a recent artwork by a friend of the channel and fellow theorist Manaminori depicting their own interpretation of the beast. The challenge is to create your own interpretation based on what little information is currently available. We'll be accepting submissions through either Discord, Tumblr, or YouTube if possible. The winner will be voted on through Discord and YouTube poll from a selection of finalists. The winner will in turn be announced on a YouTube video this Halloween alongside a gallery of all other finalists. The contest is open to all skill levels, all we ask for is something creative and terrifying. Thank you all, and I do hope we can have some creative fun this Nightmare Night. Good luck. <laughs>